This is my review on the 31 flip top organizing bin. And I've actually started this video three or four times and keep getting interrupted by my little munchkins wanting me to play with them. So I'm gonna try to make this a quick video. I use this particular bin right now for my son's diaper changing caddy on top of his uh, changing table in his room. You can actually use it for a ton of different things. Um, and I'll kind of show you at the end how you can use it for traveling. Um, I have a bunch in my playroom. I organize my toys. So, um, like I said, there's a bunch of different things that you can use this particular bin for. But the front of the bag here um, has this little canvas handle, and I keep my son's amber teething necklace on here, just so I know exactly where it's at when I'm getting him dressed, if I want to throw it on him. This little pin here is, um, it's a Mother's Day gift that my son made for me, my five-year-old. And I keep it on here because he'll walk in here most of the time when I'm changing my uh, younger son's diaper, and he likes to kind of see it on there and makes him feel special. The side of the bin here has two mesh pockets and they're separated by this seam down here in the middle. This back one, I keep a bunch of infants, cotton swabs. I keep a little rattle toy here um, just to give to my son to distract him while I'm changing his diaper. Sometimes he'll get a little restless. This is my EOS chapstick balm. I keep in this one a hand sanitizer, my Johnson's baby oil. I use this for my son's cradle cap every now and then. He'll get a little dry scalp. Um, this is just a little Travel Johnson's baby lotion. I'm actually just trying to use up, so I stuck it in there. And this is another hand sanitizer. And I also keep um, my soft lips, and um, just so I can grab it if, I'm, if I need it. In the middle of the bin, I keep, obviously, diapers and my wipes here. And then I also keep, you can see it there, yeah, I keep a... Johnson's baby powder, which I really hardly ever use. And then I keep the, his Aveeno Baby um, Calming Comfort Lotion. I keep some Johnson's hand and face wipes. Kind of freshens him up after his nap when he wakes up. I also keep a package of these boogie wipes. And then I keep a package of the pacifier wipes in here. Mainly, um, if I use these a lot in the middle of the night if he drops his passy or if I need to clean it or um, I, we actually use a nipple shield when I'm nursing so I use these a lot to kind of quickly clean up those when I don't have to go all the way out to my kitchen so that's why those are in there I keep a pack of these art cards for baby up here and I got this actually in a citrus lane box and when I first opened it I thought what in the heck am I going to use these for and um, I actually really like them at the changing station they're hard cards, and there's about, I'm not sure, there's about six, I think, in here. But they're all little different animals, and uh, my son can kind of hold it, and he kind of plays with it and looks at it. So, keeps him busy while we're changing. And then also up here in the front, oh, this is just, I keep my son's um, um, records from the doctors. Like, these are his height and his weight charts, his percentile charts. So, I keep those up there just so I can compare notes. And then I always have his next... Um, doctor visit card in here as well. On this side of the bin, there's another two mesh pockets, which are exactly like the ones on the other side. On this front one, I keep his little comb. I keep a um, medicine uh, dropper and some Tylenol. And then I keep a thermometer in here. And then I actually just got these. These are the Orgel um, natural pain relief tablets. They're kind of like the Highlands teething tablets. I haven't used those yet, so if anybody has any feedback on those, um, that would be great. This back pocket, I keep tissues, I keep a little bottle of um, Vaseline, and then I keep his little nose syringe if I ever need that. So that is kind of the overall um, basics of this particular bin. The lid on this bin is what makes it pretty awesome. Let me turn it around here to the back so you can see what I mean. The back of this bin um, has these snaps kind of on the side of it. And this snap down here at the bottom is for um, when you're in a car, you can kind of put the seat belt through here and snap it so that when this bin is laying on the seat, it won't move uh, when you're driving or it won't knock off if your kids <laughs> hit it off. Um, so this kind of makes it secure on the car seat. And these are not the car seat, your seat of the car. There's two snaps up here that the bin can actually attach to, which I think is pretty awesome. You can attach it with the bin closed. There's two snaps on both of these canvas rings here, and you can attach it two different ways. You can attach it 
with the top of the bin completely secure on here. And then you can also just kind of open it so you don't lose the bin. And then the other way you can attach it is you can flip the top of this bin over and it makes a little tray on top of the bin. And again, it just attaches down here at the bottom. So there's no losing of the tray. And what I think that this is really awesome for is I keep it, um, I keep one in between my two older kids' car seats. Um, my older son is five and my daughter is three. And so inside here, we'll keep a bunch of their books, um, some of their toys, a puzzle or two, um, just kind of miscellaneous car toys. And I'll usually keep it like this because they can still open and close the bin um, with it being snapped on here. But they can use this as like a little tray to kind of put their toys on, their snacks, um, whatever they're doing back there. So I really like this bin. I, um, I have a couple of them that, like I said, I use throughout my house. So if you have any questions or want to know where to buy one, um, just leave me a comment and I'll help you out. I hope that this, uh, I hope this gave you a good idea of this bin and I hope you liked it. Thanks.